So, you know, I was fooling around with the uh, Raspberry Pi and a USB interface with the guitar and checking out some different software you can get for the Linux operating system to make like a guitar effects processor. Now, I had this idea because you can get the Raspberry Pi to operate headless on the network. You can uh, control it from another computer anywhere in the house that's on the wire wireless network. So it's kind of a cool idea to integrate that kind of effects thing into a guitar, but seems like a lot of work figuring that out. So I just figured what I do is step one, I'm just going to make a pedal. See if I can make like a guitar pedal with a looping station that is run by Raspberry Pi. And you know me, serendipity. I just so happen to have this old unit. I got this about 10 years ago. Somebody gave it to me. It doesn't work. I always had ideas, designs someday to turn it into uh, my own platform. And now uh, I have an excuse to rip it apart. Hey, at least it's not going in the landfill, say, folks. Flash forward to the end of the day, and here it is. So we got the uh, Behringer input unit USB interface here uh, with its controls. Uh, there is a mic line here, and if you wanted to activate uh, 48 volts, you can actually get at it through this little slot in here. So if you take a screwdriver or something, you can... There. You can turn on and off the 48 volts, phantom power. So we can run uh, both the guitar and some uh, vocals or another line through here. We got a guitar input. We basically have all the inputs uh, for the USB interface here and uh, the controls here, the, the input gain and output volume. And then I've taken the existing jacks that were on this board and I re I hijacked the board and I wired the output of the USB interface which is going to be the audio for the Raspberry Pi. I wired the output to these two quarter inch jacks. So that I'll, I'll run that directly into the stereo as my output. So it's got stereo output, uh, guitar two channel input, I'm going to plug the Ethernet into it, and we've got some extra USB ports here in case you want to put a keyboard or a mouse. You can take this with you, it's a computer, so it's an entertainment system. You plug your TV into here and uh, your stereo here, and boom bada boom, you got an entertainment package that you can watch TV and movies on, uh, as well as a guitar processor. So. I've jimmied the board so that I can get access to the buttons on these four pedals because that's cool, right? You need a guitar processor that you can stomp on. So I hijacked uh, from the old board the four buttons and two LEDs here and another LED back there. Um, so uh, I haven't yet wired those to the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi, but at some point I'll do that so that I can control the features of my guitar processor with these buttons. But that'll be another video. For now, I just wanted to show you this crazy thing. Um, and uh, maybe I'll give you a little demo later, see if it's working. But there it is, right there. Franken pedal. So I put in uh, new LEDs. I'm just praying they're not. Uh, I know I had some UV. LEDs on hand, so I hope I didn't put UV LEDs in there. I really have no way of testing the LEDs, but I wired them up with resistors from the back and fished out some wires. Each of these little buttons, I jumped uh, into them, and I have little wires there. So these three LEDs and four buttons can be wired to the uh, GPIO of the Raspberry Pi.
I wanted to use these jacks on the back for my output uh, from the USB interface and then we have another LED that I'll wire someday. Someday I might wire these switches, someday I might wire this stereo plug, someday I might convert this to a power, but not for now. Just going to see if we can get this thing going. So that'll be four foot switches, at least two LEDs. Uh, we got HDMI output if you want it and a bunch of USB and there's where we plug in the internet and the power so the battery so we're we're ready to at least see if it's uh, if it's uh, wired up correctly so I got the uh, effects pi pi effects pedal going through the amp it works with the wah and everything um, I had uh, I had two, I had three goals for today working on this, day two. Uh, I wanted to get the operating system to automatically start the pedal and uh, connection software. Can't get that to work. I need my Linux guy for that. And number two, I wanted to try Rack Rack, this other Linux based guitar virtual effects processor. I couldn't get it to run. It kept crashing my system. I had to reinstall Linux. I need to put an access panel on the back of this would be an upgrade so that I can get at the SD card. Um, and number three was try to get the GPIO going so that I can use these pedals. Still haven't done that so that's the first two were bust, so I'm going to try see if I can figure out the GPIO thing. Okay, I uh, am pretty impressed. Okay, this thing is crazy. Oh my god! So over here uh, is this virtual board. This is crazy. I can choose any pedal I want in history. Uh, okay, let me set something up here. Okay, so that's straight through. That's just the clean amp you're listening to. Here's a wah wah. Okay. So, this is uh, my mic line. I can put my microphone in there. Check it out, check it out. Check, 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 check. So I could do some funky stuff there. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Um, what if I did something like this? And I went. Check, check, check it out. Check, check, check. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's uh, load a pedal board here. I got some pedal boards. So I, just, I put a couple things in here. I put some, uh, I put a reverb. Oops, it was already on. We got a little bit of a delay here. Uh, we got uh, Psycho. We got a chorus. Oh, it's got some flange on it too, maybe. There's a flanger. You can zoom in. I can go uh, into its controls here. 
Here's a big muff distortion. I got a tone shift here, right here. So let's try let's try something here. Um, what do we got? Hmm. How does that work? Oh, I'm supposed to press play first. Okay, never mind. Let's try it differently. Let's try uh, doing something like this. <laughs> 